The sixth anniversary of the Bean Path is here, and today a kickoff event took place to get a full week of events started. The Bean Path and this yearly event are making a major impact on the tech industry right here in the capital city. Three on your side's Nathan Lee was there and joins us with more on what you can expect. Nathan? Well, that's right, Aunt Courtney Ann. The Bean Path is a local tech nonprofit that offers technical advice and guidance to individuals and small businesses in the community. Saturday Celebration was a launching event that will offer a week full of fun and opportunities, from meet and greets to tech workshops and, of course, the annual block party next Saturday. If you need technology services, you can find it at the Bean. If you need food, you can find it at the Bean. If you want to get a little line dancing, a little yoga in, you can do what? Find it at the Bean. Sunday's kickoff celebration, Taste of the Bean, gets a week full of events started for the sixth anniversary of the Bean Path. The nonprofit offers classes and tech workshops in an effort to continue pushing forward the tech industry in Jackson. And for the month of October, the Bean Path is offering their services for free. Some free classes you can expect this upcoming week vary from sewing to recreational drone flying and even laser engraving. Bean Path's founder, Dr. Nashley Cephas, talks about the importance of these events for the community. We do this once a year where we try to get as many sponsors to be able to allow free access to all the events that we're having. What this does is it raises awareness about Bean Path and bridging the tech gap and also brings more people to downtown Jackson. For Sunday's event, many people made their way to Gallatin Street to the Bean Barn. Many small businesses and food trucks were there who got a chance to network and find new customers. This yearly event for Bean Path is one of the most impactful in their fight to bridge that gap in the tech industry. And while that is one of the nonprofit's main goals, Dr. Cephas believes they impact even more. When you give people the right access to tools to innovate, then they, they innovate and it benefits everyone. So when you have things like AI and cybersecurity and we're teaching uh, skills like sewing and laser cutting in our makerspace, even having a great Sunday fun day here at the Bean Barn, it really helps the entire community and economic growth. On your screen now shows you the list of some of the events you could expect this upcoming week, starting with a meet and greet on Monday, then Tech and Tacos, a networking mixer on Tuesday, and then the Coding in the Dark Codathon on Wednesday. The week-long event then wraps up with the Older Adults Technical Service Day on Thursday, a virtual lunch and learning session with the Mississippi AI Collaborative on Friday, and then of course it all ends with the 6th Anniversary Brock Party on Saturday. Now all of these events will take place at the Bean Path Makerspace, besides the Block Party, which will be at the Bean, Bean Barn. If you want any more information on these events, visit WLBT.com. Nathan Lee, 3 on your side.